Shalom everyone and welcome to Everyday Jew, your fun and flirty guide to Judaism in 10 minutes or less. And today is the first night of Hanukkah. So happy Hanukkah and happy Plagatha, everyone. So with every Jewish holiday, there usually is a story behind it. So this video is gonna give you not only the history of Hanukkah, but also some traditions that are both old and new. Now, before we even get into Plagatha, you're probably asking yourself, well, what is Hanukkah? And I'm glad you asked that. So today I will be telling you the story of Hanukkah. Now with many Jewish stories, it all started a long, long time ago. So many, many years ago, there was the Jews living in the Greek Siberian area of the world. And at that point in time, the king had said to the Jews, I'm not going to allow you to participate in any of your traditions or your religious beliefs anymore. You have to follow by our religious beliefs and our traditions. The Jews were not going to have any part of that. And the person who started the uprising against them was named Judah Maccabee. So Judah Maccabee and the people around him essentially pushed the king and all the leaders outside of the area and decided to retake over their land. Once they did that, they decided to clean up the temple and get everything ready. And they decided to light a light in the temple that would last forever. But unfortunately, they only had enough oil to last one night. So they lit the oil lamp and prayed for the best. And their prayers were answered. Not only did that oil last for one night, but it lasted for eight entire nights, which was enough time for Judah and the rest of the Maccabees to be able to gather enough oil to relight the lamp should it go out. So there is the Spark Notes version of the story of Hanukkah. So you have eight candles, eight days, people just wanted to light an oil lamp and they thought it was going to last for one day, and it lasted for eight. That's the whole story. But with time comes new and old traditions. So there are some old traditions that I still follow, which is lighting a menorah, playing dreidel, making latkes, giving presents, and celebrating Hanukkah as a general thing. But some new traditions are starting to come along and I want to share it with you guys. This is the Mench on a Bench. Now, my mom sent me the Mench on a Bench as essentially a gag gift to make me laugh when I told her I was starting Everyday Jew. And when I opened the box and saw this, I wish I had my camera on me because I started laughing so hard. This is hilarious. So let me just tell you a little bit about this guy. The Mench on the Bench was started by Neil Hoffman and it was his answer to what he likes to call elf envy. And as a girl growing up with a lot of Gentile friends or non-Jewish friends, I completely understand this. So the Mench on the Bench, or Moshi, as he likes to be called, is the Jewish version of Elf on a Shelf. So you can get this guy at Target, you can get him online, you can get him at Bed Bath & Beyond, and he comes with a little doll, as well as the story of the Mench on a Bench, which is the story of Hanukkah. So like the Elf on a Shelf, Moshi likes to sit on his little bench, or I call it his cutie sitting on his booty, and he comes with this great little story book, and recently, this guy was on Shark Tank which I will put a link in the description bar below for you guys to watch the episode that Moshi was in as well as Neil and to see if they got picked up or not. Now the cool thing is if you want to pick up your own mention of Bench, there is a coupon code that is happening right now. If you use the coupon code OYVE, you get 20% off your order and that was a Shark Tank and Hanukkah exclusive, I believe. I always love incorporating new traditions into my life and I definitely think that Moshi will become a huge part of my family and my friends and my Hanukkah traditions from now on. I even took this little guy to Disney with me and here are some photos. We have got a lot of compliments. People kept on asking what he is and I think that kind of has a lot to say with a lot of people not knowing what Hanukkah is. Even today when I went to go to Target, there was barely any Hanukkah stuff left or in general at Target, which is kind of sad because I love sharing my holidays with my friends and I think that Moshi is definitely going to be able to be a part of how I can share it with my friends as well as with Everyday Jew and Blogging App. So there you have it, the story of Hanukkah and you got to meet my little buddy Moshi who will be coming along during Blogging Co with me. And I hope you guys are ready to celebrate these next eight days of the Festival of Lights with crafts and food and stories. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're celebrating Hanukkah or even if you're not and you just want to watch the videos. Make sure you subscribe because over the next eight days, as I said, there's going to be a new video every day, and I'll see you guys next time. Want to say bye, Moshi? Bye, everyone. Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the